Hello! Thank you for watching this YouTube video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about procurement. It's a application I use for my uh, Path of Exile trading. It's a very useful application. I'm going to show you how to basically download it and uh, set it up and get it working for you. Uh, and then you'll be able to take it and use it for what you do. Um, <coughs> Basically, you come to this page right here. Um, it's just a, a like a Google homepage for projects, and it's just code.google.com/p/procurement, um, and it's it's a very helpful tool. And I'm going to go over it today. And all you have to do is you push download now. And after that, you install it too. It has very little options while you're installing it, so it should be pretty easy. And then after you have it all installed, let me go open it up. All you'd have to do is find where it, it actually z gives you a zip. So actually, I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean. So you're going to download this and it gives you a zip and once you show in folder it's gonna look like this procurement and then the, the type of procurement the version then if you right click and push extract all and then just extract it where you're gonna wanna put it and then once you extract it it should give you a folder just like this and this is going to be the file that has all your procurement stuff in it. Uh, it saves like the username that you end up using with it and stuff like that. Once you click and open it up, let's just make sure OBS. Okay, it looks like this. Um, this isn't going to work currently. This way of I'm doing it isn't going to work for Steam users. So if you're using Steam, um, there is a workaround as far as like what username and password you use but um, <coughs> it makes it a little harder with Steam um, so yeah just keep that in mind um, so after you log in you just put your username for GGG and your password for GGG uh, it's not like you don't have to sign up for anything or anything it's just it just hooks into uh, Grinding Gear Game Server brings all the item data into this application, and then this application you can set buyouts and uh, other things, uh, so it's easier for you to trade your items. Um, the reason why it's kind of nice that it's in this like offline application thing is because the trading is through a um, well, not offline, it's online, but the trading is on the forums, and what I mean by that, since we're waiting for that to load, you go to Path of Exile, and after you log in, let me log in real quick. <coughs> after you log in, uh, you're going to want to go to forums and then after you go to forms there's going to be buying and trading shops down here and there's for like one like a couple for each uh, league so there's three for standard three for hardcore uh, there's even price check once for hardcore and standard and then ambush has three invasion has three and then there's a price check thing I don't really use the price check thing. I didn't even really realize there was a price check thing. And then there's a standard to hardcore trading. Um, there's also an ambush to invasion trading. I don't. I think that stuff's kind of sketch, so I just try to stay away from that. But the one you're gonna want to look at, if you're well, at least for me, uh, if you're in ambush, you want to either do uh, ambush selling or ambush trading shops. Um, Either one really works. I should actually move my shop into this one, but mine's in this one currently. Um, 
it's not a big deal either way. And then after you're here, you just push new thread. And then whatever procurement gives you, you just paste in here. Um, if you have a lot of items, I recommend going to the the shop one, the ambush trading shops if you're in ambush. And after this completely lo oh, there we go. Once it's completely loaded, this is how it looks. Um, you have a little drop down menu for the different leagues that you're in. Um, you also have different options up here. Um, the recipe option actually might be helpful for people who are newer to the game. It kind of points out um, a bunch of recipes you could make with the items that are in your inventory. Um, yeah, I mean, it's something to look at. And you can, like, for instance, the uh, chaos slash uh, chance form or set. And it has like armor sets that I could trade in for chaos orbs and then like you know chromatics and then when you like push on something it like it'll highlight wherever you're at yeah see so yeah um so that's the recipe menu which is kinda nice because if you don't know some of the recipes this thing does which might help you. Uh, after that, there's also settings. In settings, you can actually take and choose values for each of the currencies. So, like, for instance, if you have a... Uh, I don't know why it prices everything in GCPs, which is kind of awkward. I don't know if there's a way to change that. But, yeah. So... You know, if you have values for your orbs and stuff, you can value everything here. Uh, I don't really mess around with it too much. Um, but, you know, if you're into that. And then there's this. This is going to be your favorite league. By favorite league, it means the league that you're playing in. Um, I don't know why they say favorite league, but... I mean, for some people, it might be about favorite league, but for me, it's like whatever league you're playing in. Uh, favorite character, you know, the character you're currently playing. Uh, it doesn't, you shouldn't do favorite, like, I don't understand why it's favorite character either. You want to make sure it's the character you're currently playing, which right now I'm playing this character. And then, after that, you go to stash. And then you're going to go through your items, which... Basically, it's just going to look just like your stash in game. Which I think I have a couple new items I can price. So we can just go through the whole whole method. See how a lot of these items have prices on them? Uh, here's one. Um, probably like a chaos. And all you have to do to bring up this little thing is to right click on the item that you're going to uh, actually assign value to. You can assign any orb in the game to it. And then you can a assign, you know, amounts of orbs, which is very useful. And, you, you know, then you just go through, find what you're going to want to trade. You know, I, I don't really have a lot going on right now. This one's actually really good. Gonna do 15, and then yeah, you just basically go through all your items, um, and then make sure whenever you're um, selling items, you're gonna want to make sure to at least uh, while you're going through them. Actually, that could be too. You want to make sure that all your items are on the same page. That's very important. The reason why it's important that they're all on the same page is because um, like when you actually go to sell all these items um, I'll show you what I mean Shit, this one three and yeah so the, all you have to do is right click look at the item see what you value it at and after you get a value 
you give it the you assign it the value and you just go through that with all your items until you know all the items on that page are pretty much done um, make sure you have at least one page for this um, so that's the only thing that might be harder for some people if they only have four pages it's gonna be a little harder to use this application um, but the nice thing is um, this application does not pick up any white items or magic items I think you can make it pick up white items and magic items but uh, yeah so yeah then as you go through everything and assign values to everything I'm just kinda some of this stuff probably isn't even worth that much Oh, that one. I can keep that one there. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. This one, I think, is only 200 DPS. So we'll put that at 6. So, yeah. But, yeah, hopefully it's giving you a good idea of what to do. And then, once you have everything done, all you have to do is take and like I have other ones down here I don't know why I did that but whatever okay two I mean some of this is a little better than probably what I'm pricing of that but I'm just kinda going through real quick if uh, I end up not liking the prices later I can always be like, oh, sorry. I didn't realize I priced it so wrong. And then that's usually like the reason why I like to make prices a little higher. So if people are actually interested in it, uh, if I end up feeling like the item isn't like exactly worth that, I'll let them bring the price down a little bit. But I think that's pretty much it. There might be a couple stragglers sitting around. But yeah, hopefully it's giving you a good idea what to do when you actually get this application up and running. I'm just kind of going through doing them real quick. I think that was my last page. So after you have everything priced out, you just push on the trading button, and the trading button is going to bring you to this. Uh, it uses a form template, which means whenever you actually take and click one of these tabs that has uh, the items that you're trying to trade, it's going to break them down into um, different items, basically. So it's going to break it down into uh, gear with dual resist. It's going to break it down into unique items. It's going to break it down into items with increased rarity, increased quantity. It's going to break it into uh, the types. So, you know, weapons and armor. And then it starts with armor. Then, you know, helms, amulets, chests, belts. You know, keeps going down until it fills up everything in that tab. And you can do multiple tabs. So, you don't have to do just one or two tabs. You can do as many tabs as you want. And it just keeps on populating that list. Which is really nice. And once it's all pop, you can even like, I also put my support gems in there. Because once in a while I'll find people who want uh, a gem that's inside there. I don't have values to all my support gems or anything. So if you don't want to put values on some of the things, uh, that's okay. I recommend putting on values because values are gonna make your items move faster. Um, but I mean, if you're not too worried about the item actually moving, it might not be as big of a deal. And then after that, you just basically uh, push Control A, push Control C, go to you know here, push New Thread, and once it, the new thread's up, push Control V. And we'll push preview here. Because I already have a form post, so I don't want to submit this one. 
but I kind of want to give you an idea of what it looks like afterwards. Looks like this. So, yeah, breaks up everything, gives it a nice value. So, like, the nice thing, too, is these values all show up on PoE XYZ. Um, as long as, uh, and as long as you are at, like, level, like, above 80 on this league, at least, and 84 in standard, uh, you can show up as online. Uh, yeah. So, it's nice because it breaks everything down, puts everything in the list, so that <coughs> if people who are actually looking through your form too, um, they have a nice organized uh, thing that they can look through. Uh, I mean, this isn't super organized for some people, but I mean, if you want to like go for pieces of gear instead of like dual res gear or you know five links or uniques. You can always click on weapons and armor. It breaks it down even into the pieces. So if you push on armor, it goes through all the pieces. Um, and then goes through each separate weapon and shield and offhand, you know. So, you know, it's a nice little tool. And then after you're done with everything, everything looks good. Make sure, double check your name. Your name's going to be right here. This is what's going to show up on PoE XYZ. Uh, for them when they look for like an item there'll be an IGN next to it this right here is how your uh, in-game name shows up on PoE XYZ uh, so you know as long as you did like this without PoE XYZ like you just link the item in and then put a bio under it and then put your my IGN is and then your character that you're currently playing uh, that character would show up and then they could message you through that. So yeah, it just gives you an idea of uh, how to make things um, work with this application. Uh, hopefully this helped you. Um, I know it helps me a lot. It cuts down the time I have to like go through and type all this stuff out, go up here, link things in, and it saves me a lot of time. I know it looks like it took a lot of time, but without this application, it'd take even longer. So, um, hopefully this gives you a great idea of uh, how to make this work for you. And uh, thank you for watching this YouTube video.